today I'm going to attempt to put up these pictures in my dining room. And the reason I say attempt is because for some reason these pictures now are coming with these little things instead of like the thing on top. It's some doggone leveling involved and my level does not work. I don't think that it's leveling like it's supposed to. I'm gonna kind of have to do it by ear, have to do it by eye, <laughs> however you want to say it. So I'm taking some of the staples off, the paper, packaging, all that stuff. And hopefully I get it the same length or whatever on both sides. So let me show y'all the paintings. So they're gonna go on either side of my dining room window. Y'all, <laughs> the dining room is still a mess. When I feel like I've gone through enough boxes, more boxes get put here to clean out other areas of the house. This is what it looks like currently. A lot of stuff got moved to the basement, but this is all stuff that are that's either office stuff that has to stay up here until I get like bookshelves and storage things to put all that stuff in. And then other stuff is like coats that I have to put in closets. So I need to buy more hangers to get rid of those boxes. And then other stuff is like my sorority paraphernalia that I need to put in bigger storage bins so it can go downstairs because most of it is winter stuff. That's what all this is. So if you see that in the video, just ignore it because it's not going anywhere no time soon. And y'all, my daughter made eggs and I'm like getting so nauseated. I don't eat eggs, so, so I'm gonna try to get through this video because I'm not feeling very good right now. This is my Cassie mirror from um, Wayfair. I am waiting to put that up in the entryway because first of all, I gotta find where a stud is to put it up. My stud finder, I like you don't wanna work either. So between my stud finder and my leveler, it's just, whatever so i'm gonna try to find a contractor that can put it up for me and make sure that it's in the wall because this mirror is heavy and it's huge so i need maybe like a professional to put it up as far as this picture i'm going to just mark where i want it i think i'll probably do the tape method and i have some tape with the painter's tape again you probably saw in the previous vlog you put the painter's tape on the back where the little metal pieces are, mark those, and then take that off and put it on the wall so you know where to put your nails. And for this, I'm not screwing anything into the wall. I'm just using nails. <laughs> Tell you how I feel But it's like talking to a wall When you don't look at me Please just look at me I'm a ticking time bomb That goes off easily You always know which buttons You should push, baby I'm a ticking time bomb That goes off easily But you're still here with me
this is gonna get y'all. So I'm gonna do the other side and I'm gonna let y'all see it. But for right now, that looks pretty darn good. Pretty good. So I'll do the other side and then I'll let y'all see the whole thing. Okay y'all, so here we are. To the eye, it looks level. And I actually noticed this wall is wider than that wall. So all I did primarily was just make sure both pictures were centered to wherever they were. So that's just gonna be what it is. That wall is narrower. So let me bring y'all around. Sorry for all the movement if you get motion sick. So this is centered to this wall. That's centered to that wall. So that's just gonna be what it is. I just noticed that and just looking at where the nails ended up. So now y'all should be able to see the whole vibe of the dining room. Okay, time to brighten this down. Okay, so that's it you guys. That looks a lot better. Sorry for all the stuff. That's the vibe for that. So do y'all get it? So, okay, for this, I put my desk over here. This is not staying here, that's just where it is for now. So, in this room, I'm going to install a board and batten along this wall, board and batten, it's gonna be white. This portion of the wall is gonna be painted black. Probably a tricorn black, probably some famous type of black like iron ore, tricorn black, either Sherwin Williams or Bayer. All of this and below, probably this high, I'm gonna do it, this high. Below is gonna be white and then the top is gonna be black because I actually have a gold chandelier I'm going to replace this with. That gold chandelier is gonna pop against the black top half of the, well top one third of the wall. So two thirds of the wall is gonna be the white board and batten and then the top one third is gonna be black. On this wall, I'll probably do like some built-ins or just a mirror maybe. It's gonna be something here, probably a tree of some sort or I might do a tree back there in the corner once I move my desk to the middle. We'll figure it out. It's gonna be a slow and steady race because I don't know what I wanna do quite yet. So now that these pictures are up, it's looking really fabulous and along with the mess. <laughs> I repurposed this gold one that I had silver in my apartment. It was originally gold, but I painted it silver when we moved to our, well, I bought it gold, <laughs> but then I painted it silver when I had my house. And then I kept it silver when we moved into our apartment when we moved to Atlanta. Then I repainted it gold so that it could match the gold in the kitchen and the dining room. So, gold's accents will only be downstairs. Upstairs is mainly gonna be blacks and grays and creams. With the pictures on the wall, now it is coming together quite nicely, I must say. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Did I do a good job with it being two different sizes on each side of the window. Did I do a pretty good job? Thumbs up if I did. Post in the comments what you all think of the paintings themselves. Again, they have gold, black, and white. And they actually have little gold crystals. So if you could see that, they're either painted or epoxy. They might not be epoxy, but they're actually cute side by side, but I wanted them to be in different places in the dining room. So you could see that there. So that's it for the dining room paintings. Um, I may have a couple more things to show you all today. Um, so sit back, relax. If an ad comes up, let it play, okay? Just let it play. Don't turn the channel. 
don't turn to another vlog just let it play y'all let it play i'm going to go in the family room right now and show you all the rug that came in early so excited so un momento okay y'all so before i do the rug i wanted to show you all the painting that i got from uh home goods so this is the painting, it's so pretty. So until we get our TV, this is gonna be what's on the fireplace. And I don't know who the painter is, sorry, but I just got it from Home Good. I showed y'all this over here. These are two bookshelves from my old house slash then apartment slash now home. They are espresso brown. <laughs> so what's gonna happen is probably going to just paint those eventually i have no idea when but they happen to just perfectly fit in that little space so for now they're going to stay there if i decide to create some type of platform to raise them and then do like a little built in at the top all the way to the wall i possibly will do that but honestly, I really want cabinets over here and floating shelves. So this is gonna stay here for now. I have little trinkets on there, just as fillers, I guess. It's vibing, but it ain't, it ain't my, I mean, it's vibing, but it ain't the vibe I envision, but it will be, okay? So I just wanted to show y'all basically, cause I don't think I've showed y'all the family room, basically what we're working with and of course the bare floor i'm gonna go ahead and get this rug together show y'all what it's looking like we have a floor outlet so that's only there if i wanted to like have a lamp on the end table but that will be a while because we have not yet picked out our sofa and then after that we have to pick out our end table so end tables are coming last so that floor plug is just going to be there to be there in case you see like a little spot on the floor so let's open up to this rug and see what we are working with. bigger size than this but it's perfect I put my little candles from here on the edges to keep it down hi, hi. man want to say hi so yeah oh my gosh it's the perfect size I just have to let the edges kind of sit out for a bit I may have to get some more books or something and put them on there but my plan is to get a sectional down here, kind of a small sectional, put it here, have a little chase going that way, and put two little chairs here. I will have to probably slide this rug over because I need this walkway clear. Um, and then I thought about doing a left facing chase and having it here and then doing the armchairs over here, but that will prevent people from walking straight into this area. So I'm doing a right facing chase. And when you face the couch, it's considered a right facing chase. So the entire rug is gonna have to shift over um, to provide a walkway area. However, it is big enough to accommodate the couch, a coffee table or two, and it just goes perfectly with the grays, the blacks, the creams, the whites. I'm just highly impressed. I cannot wait to 
decorate this. Look at the pattern, y'all. It's so pretty. And it's a little smush, so I'm going to vacuum it and get it to fluff out a bit. All right, so we got the rug. We got the rug. We got the rug. Yeah. We got the rug. Yeah. Chuck A. Chase and we went grocery shopping. I guess I'm gonna do a little haul for y'all, okay? So y'all can see what we got. Let me time this camera because the girls is girly today. They was girl, yes, I was girling up in Chuck E. Cheese, okay? <laughs> girls was girling. I have not given y'all an update for my surgery, but this is the update, okay? That's all y'all need to see. Anyway, we about to go over this little holesy haul. But my husband just threw an Amazon package at me like, here you go. I'm like, can we find a better way to present a gift to your wife? Like, what am I, a dog? You don't toss stuff at me. And then when I opened it, I was like, oh, thank you. So he got me this Ellie Coast tripod stand because I've been complaining about needing a, another tripod. So I think he saw this on another YouTuber's account and thought it would be a great addition to my techno package. Thank you, honey. That way I don't have to be lugging this one upstairs and downstairs and upstairs and downstairs and getting Kylie to grab it for me whenever I forget to vlog and I need my camera last minute. Here come y'all little friend. He gotta give y'all a little dance number at least for 30 seconds. Go break dance. Okay, if you got to do all that, then you should have came prepared. Okay, that's enough. If y'all saw down here, I got a bunch of candles on the edge of my rug just to keep it down. Ghetto, I know, but it's okay. It's all right. No judgment here. You gotta do what you gotta do to make stuff work. Let's go over these groceries while these kids go upstairs. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 Cause why do we want to make noise as soon as mommy turned on the camera? Like it was quiet. It was quiet, right? Yeah. That's what they do though. So boom. Who is hell? We gonna start with what we got from Publix. All right, what we got from Walmart? I just got, um, here's some, some uh, mentionable. They had a 14, hold on, one, two, three, four, five. A 14 pack for like $9, and then they had a 10 pack for like seven. But she wanted this one because it had like the days of the week. So I just got both. Got some yellow rice and some mixed greens so i want to do some chicken thighs with that and if y'all ever use this brand i like the yellow rice with the saffron in it i usually get it from sam's because i think that's where my mama gets it from but let me get y'all situated here i think that's where she gets hers from but we didn't go to sam's today so it is what it is i got another can of mixed greens here these are so good by margaret holmes the glory ones are good too but the mixed green ones i like to get the Margaret home ones i got some pop tarts for kylie because she likes to eat those at school got of course the taco bell sauce travis one at fire and then the kids eat the mal ones we mix between that and the hot one so, if you're a fan of these, put a comment below because I definitely am. If I don't have this with my tacos, I 
probably won't eat tacos because as my husband would say, I don't like no dry food. If you don't like dry food, leave a comment below because I can't stand dry food. You gotta have some type of sauce, some type of something, ranch, some type of condiment, teriyaki sauce, something. We got some crunch berries. We had the family size at Walmart. If you have a family that loves cereal, go to Walmart because they usually have the family size or go to Sam's if it's a particular brand of cereal that you like. Sam's doesn't have a lot of options of cereal, but if you like a particular brand that they have, you can get like a two pack or whatever. I got these Pure Leaf. We are addicted to the extra sweet tea. None of the other ones do it like the purple pack. So if you like super sweet southern tea, this is the kind to get, okay? The purple, and we got two of these. This is a three, six, nine, twelve pack of tea. We got some eggs. We got some donuts, which we already ate. These are birthday cake icing donuts. These are actually really good. I don't like Dunkin' Donuts, but I'll eat Dunkin' Donuts if you just happen to stop by there. But these taste like Dunkin' Donuts with a little icing. The icing is so good. It melts in your mouth. It's not hard at all, like some store brand donuts are. It's very, very good. So I got some diced peaches as well because Kylie is a snacker. She really doesn't eat lunch at school. And she'll probably take this and be satisfied. So between this and the Pop-Tart, she's good. I am trying to get her to eat more because she is on the cheer team and she has to have her nutrients. But I don't know what's up with these kids not wanting to eat lunch. She probably door dashing. That's probably what it is. She probably door dash. Get a little bit of coins and don't know how to act. I got banana muffins. If y'all are a fan of these, comment below because I didn't eat these until we started getting them for the kids, like for Kirsten and Kingston on up. Travis eats them before he goes to work with some bananas, except he eats the blueberry kind. But the banana ones, y'all. Yeah. I love banana nut bread and this doesn't have nuts so Kingston can't eat these because he's allergic to nuts. But I absolutely love, 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 love the banana one. So if you love banana nut bread, if you have someone in your family who's allergic to nuts, get these. I don't see that they have nuts. They're made in a bakery that may also use coconut. Use at your own risk. Eat at your own risk, okay? Of course, anything Sonic. Gotta get from man. This is a little lunch box, but he started school and they can't take lunch, so this will probably be like his on the road snack box. That, of course, a big bottle of hot sauce, cause why not? I always keep these in stock. Golden Oreos, you already know. These are double stuff. And I honestly wish, no, honestly wish they would come out with the mega stuff golden, but they haven't yet. But the mega stuff, if you like the cream, like my kids like the cream, mega stuff. If they ever come out with triple stuff, I'm done. Just just shoot it in my arm at that point. I won't do chlorine, but I'll do some um, Oreo cream, okay? Got some honey buns for the honeydew, cause he loves honey buns. Got some taco stuff. Cookie butter, hadn't found these in a couple of weeks, but went to Walmart and they had them. If you know about cookie butter, comment below. Because I need my followers to see what the doggone hype is all about. If you know, you know, okay. With some apples, some sliced apples, y'all. Y'all, and don't tell me you have been on a Delta fight and it has some Biscoff cookies. Because me, I don't like to fly, but I will fly for some Biscoff cookies. You understand me? Okay, as long as you know. We got some cinnamon French toast sticks. I ain't really a French toast person unless it's made from scratch, but these. Honeydew put me on these and y'all bussin'. Like, and they come like with syrupy stuff already on it, so when you heat it up, it already got the syrup on it, and you add more stuff on top. Girl, who chat? Toes curl. Got some garlic bread for spaghetti. Cooking that this week. 
that's it for the Walmart stuff. Moving on to the Lidl stuff, or as I like to call her, Lidell's. We go to Lidell's for the cheap grocery, okay? Hold on one second. This is what we got from Lidell's. They actually have the Mega Cinnamon Toast Crunch, so we actually got the cereal there. My kids love cereal, so we have like four different kinds of cereal at a time. Got some sugar to restock my little containers. Mustard, canola oil for when Travis fries his fish outside. Some Ziploc bags so the kids can take their snacks to school. Mozzarella and sharp shredded cheese. If y'all need like little stuff like this, go to Lidl's and Aldi's because it's really cheap. Okay. Got some cornstarch to refill my container. Some whipped cream. Got some tomato, some turkey meat for sandwiches, got some baking soda to put in the refrigerator, some Parmesan cheese, mayo, cause the only reason I really use this is for chicken salad. We love, love, love chicken salad. Some green beans. Y'all get your vegetables, your canned goods from Lidl's or all these, cause it's super cheap. Travis got some kettle cooked jalapeno chips, pancakes, bussin, y'all. These give Denny's a run for their money, okay? Microwave, 35 seconds, 40 seconds, and you good. Got some Doritos, some white cheddar popcorn. Addicted, okay? Addicted. I love me some white cheddar popcorn, okay? Y'all ever wanna see me something and I get a P.O. box set up? See me some white cheddar popcorn. Got some pita crackers that I can eat with my chicken salad or these are good by themselves. They also had a garlic and herb, which I thought would be good, but these, the regular sea salt, ooh, my goodness, so good. And I just got them two weeks ago and me and Kylie been snacking on them like what nobody business. As you can tell, I had done a grocery haul because A, we ain't had no refrigerator. We had the mini fridge back here. So grocery haul for what? Okay, for what? Where are we gonna put it? We got a deep freeze in the garage, but that was already full from the apartment. We got a refrigerator now. So now <laughs> we don't have to shop for the day. We can shop for the week slash for the month. I'm all smiles because I can get back into my shopping routine. I can cook like I want. I don't have to worry about having leftovers because I don't have nowhere to put them. Leftover me, uh, two day meal me, uh, okay? Thank you. We got some orange juice, no pulp, some milk for man. We all drink lactose free. Some Danables for Kirsten's lunch. Oatmeal pies for Kirsten's lunch. Applesauce with cinnamon for Kirsten's lunch. Cheese bowls, my childhood favorite, except I love the planter's one um, in the little can, you know what I'm talking about. But now they have these, and Sam's has an even bigger one, but Lidl's had these. Got some fresh cherries. We got the 12 pack of yogurt, so. Usually these come with like one flavor, but we mix and match and just arrange them in here so it's easier to carry. So that's it for Lidell's. We have, I got marshmallows because I got candy yams that I'm gonna make with the chicken and yellow rice. We got a whole bunch of Lunchables for Kirsten. We restocked up on our Tarani syrups. So I got the salsa caramel and vanilla again. And I'm gonna do, um, I got some glasses in for these, but I'm gonna do a vlog showing those really soon. This is Publix actually. Got some wet ones for the car. Marinara sauce because we do mozzarella sticks in our household. And Publix actually had a three cheese. I usually get the one with the red top, which is the Romano Parmesan, but y'all, they finally came out with a three cheese. So this has Grated Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago. Y'all, talking about on a set it. Asiago cheese is busting if you ain't know. So I got the candy yams, y'all. I don't, I don't really cook from scratch, okay? My mama didn't really want me in the kitchen, so I gotta learn on my own. But I can doctor me up some yams, okay? Tastes just like Thanksgiving. Got some raspberries and blackberries, blueberries. Ooh. Clean up on now, too. Then we got some Honeycrisp apples. Honeycrisp is all the apples we eat. We don't eat no other kind of Honeycrisp, so 
If they don't have honey crisp apples, we just don't eat them. Back to the blueberries. So my mama has like a blueberry bush that has run rampant in her yard. So we used to just get blueberries from her because she would literally bag them in quart size Ziploc bags. That's how many there were. And we would just get them from there. But now that we don't live near mama no more, we gotta buy them from the store. So maybe one day she'll freeze them and just let us get them frozen. But I don't think she even go out there and pick them. She probably just let the deer eat them. We got some grapes, some pineapples, and some cucumber for salad. Because we're having salad this week, we're having spaghetti this week, and whatever, whatever is on my heart Friday is what we'll have on Friday. This is all of the groceries, Publix, Walmart, Lidell's, or Lidl's, and y'all look at this look at this now who's gonna help me put all this up because oh speaking of hey honey calm down come on down we have a cleanup on al too so I gotta pick up all those. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go so we can put this stuff up because some of this stuff is frozen. So we gotta make sure you get in the freezer and say, pee out. I will holla y'all in a little bit. Peace. putting some of my dry goods in these little containers I got from Timu. They're actually very inexpensive. They were like 98 cents, a dollar 29, dollar 98 each, depending on when they were having the sale. But they're um, BPA, whatever it is, BPA free, something like that. They're like airtight. They're really good to keep your stuff fresh. And I absolutely love them because the kids can get into them easily to get their snacks. And they just make our pantry look more aesthetically pleasing. My pantry ain't how I wanted to be, but it was a lot better than just putting stuff on the shelf. So let me show y'all that real quick. Alright, so this is the pantry. It ain't much. It ain't much. So, judge your mom. So, this is what we have so far. We have a little cheeses, a little Italian and herb crackers, now our sea salt crackers. You saw me put the saffron rice in here. We got jasmine rice in the back. We got some, let's see. Let's see if I can bring y'all closer. We got some fettuccine noodles, some spaghetti noodles in another container. We got some cookies down here. We have some, um, Welch's grape snacks down here. And what else we got? We got um, peanuts, almonds, Travis loves these. We have croutons for salad, some berry and pecan mix for salad toppings. And we have, what else we got? We got some um, granola bars from my shop club in the top one. And some marshmallows, which I need to actually refill. And we have some mints. So once I get some additional food items, I will order some more of these from Timu. And um, 
fill those up with the extra dry ingredients that I order. I know I have cornstarch in one. I need an extra blank one for, an extra blank one for flour. I think I have one more extra one for flour already. But I'm gonna add some marshmallows to this one. This is the last one. I'm eating them all up. Do we have any Chinese, Mommy? We do. I'm eating some of the Chinese. Yes, once we clean up. So how cute is this? It's so cute. to bug and transport it in other containers so we can get rid of the boxes and then once I redo the pantry and get more cabinet space stuff like this will probably go in the cabinet and stuff like this will go on the shelves so this will be like tucked away out of sight of mine that's it for the grocery haul. Comment below if you eat some of these items, if you use some of these items, if you store some of these items in a different container than what you bought it in. That's a lot of grocery shop, y'all. After all that grocery shopping, guess what we got? Guess what we eating? Chinese hibachi. Hibachi, yeah. Man, you don't eat with your chopsticks? Show, show, show the people. Show the people how to do. I know. Show the people how to do it. 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 It's like we're in an ASMR video. It's not working. So we eat with I'm chopsticks. I'm master. We eat with chopsticks over here. Well, me and Kirsten do anyway. I don't know Everybody else just eat with a fork. I don't know how to do chopsticks. Yeah, I'm old, like I've been in Pentecostal service. <laughs> so I have, I have the steak, steak and chicken, hibachi. Mm mm mm. Kirsten has the chicken. Man has the chicken. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah. Subscribe. Subscribe. Tell them to subscribe, man. Risk ride. What? Prescribe. 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 Subscribe. Subscribe. Meows. Subscribe. Yeah, I'm gonna shut go for real this time. I just wanna show y'all, even though we went grocery shopping. Subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell. Still eating. Food, I didn't cook. Mom, we got a break. Bye. 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 Subscribe, like, and comment Bye. down below. Bye. Hit the bell for more notifications. I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button below. Like, share this video, click that notification bell so that you will always be one of the first to be notified when I post a new vlog. My name is Francesca Jeanette, and I will see y'all on the B-side. Love y'all.